Hello students and grown-ups. I hope you liked looking at the artwork of the artist and sculptor and teacher Charles McGee. And I hope you like talking about his artwork a little bit. I think it's really important to take a minute to just talk about um, the artwork that other artists create because I think that we can learn about um, the art a little bit more and we can also learn how to communicate better. So that's a win-win. And today, I thought we could maybe be inspired by Charles McGee and create our own pop-up sculptures. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. For today's activity, you're gonna need some materials that are a little bit different than we normally use. You're going to need a glue stick, uh, some scissors, a black crayon or marker, and two pieces of paper, and any kind of paper is fine. Put one of your pieces of paper off to the side because you won't need it right away. And then on this piece of paper, we're gonna be making four, maybe five vertical lines. Um, those are the up and down lines. Uh, and let's make them a little bit wavy or zigzaggy, but don't make them too tricky because we're gonna be cutting these out later. That is one. you'll get five but feel free to be a little inventive with your lines um, because it, your final result will look much more fun if they have some waves and some, just some interesting direction in those lines our next step is to fill each of these spaces with a different pattern so use your black crayon or marker and make them, they don't have to be complicated patterns at all and just fill each one with a different pattern. The next thing we're going to do is just carefully cut on those vertical up and down lines that we drew and I just want you to make sure you take care because you might get a little bit confused with all your patterns but just try your best to cut those out as neatly as possible once all your shapes are cut out we're going to start gluing them down on our other sheet of paper so you'll need your glue stick and your other sheet of paper and all you have to do is put a little bit of glue on each end and then you're going to stick it somewhere on your paper but you need to pop it up so don't glue it down flat because we're making a sculpture and sculptures are not flat sculptures are the opposite of flat. So all you need is just a little glue on each end. You don't have to do too much, and with, especially if you use a glue stick. And the fun part will be to decide where you want it. And do you want it to go under? I think this one will look good under. But don't forget to pop it up. And then you're just gonna build on that to create an amazing sculpture. Oh my gosh, now I have this amazing sculpture. It looks really good. And I'm gonna just carefully, you can see, if I turn to it, it's not flat. This is really cool and it will look great hanging up on a wall, I think. And I think if you could describe to your grown-ups about how you use the pattern and that you made it three-dimensional and that means it's a sculpture, not a drawing. I think that they would be really impressed that you could talk about art that way. And I also hope you have fun trying something a little bit different.